Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we walked in the changing room to bring Miko her bag and then saw her bikini, right? I think it was a bikini. And then, right now we are in her room to do a study session. It's about what I expected of her. Most of it is unorganized and messy. What are you talking about? Only thing that's... Is that sheet of paper? Oh no, I think that's a plate. It doesn't look that messy. Stuffed dolls adorn the walls in her bed. You mean stuffed animals? They look like animals. Never really heard of stuffed dolls before. Hmm. What? What is it? This room. It's you all over. You... you mean... it's cute? Well, yeah, it's cute. But there's more to it than that. S stop calling me cute. She puffs up her cheeks and turns her back to me. But anyway, I've already been through and reviewed the material. So this should be a breeze. Oh, nice. Just tell me what you're having trouble with and I'll help with it. She isn't blushing and carrying on like usual. Huh. She must be feeling fairly confident about this. Yeah, I think she is. About her studies and all. Let me just get comfortable. Sure, go ahead. She begins to reach down towards her skirt. Um, Miko? What are you doing? Is... She undressing? Her skirt quickly drops to the ground. I don't say anything though, I find myself too unsettled to really comment. She undoes the top two buttons of her shirt, letting it hang loosely around her chest. So she doesn't mind this? M Miko? What are you doing? She begins walking towards me slowly, then takes a left. She spreads herself out onto her bed. Pulling a book out of nowhere, she immediately begins scanning through it. This is my book of notes. Let's see what I recorded about what you're studying. As she lies there, every small movement seems to make the stripes ripple across her. No, I'm not going to say it. Not even in my head. This is a terrible situation. I can barely concentrate on the material she's reviewing. Oh yeah, it's very distracting. There's a problem here. What? What is it? Why are you dressed like that? This is my room, and this is how I get comfortable. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's okay in your room, I guess? If you don't like it, get out. Don't you care if I... You've already seen it. Oh. You're just gonna display it more to me? Oh, okay. Awesome. That's... that's, that's good. I guess she's getting really comfortable with me. What's the point in even trying to hide now? M modesty? Maybe. My purity has been ruined. Well, that this isn't going to help your purity any more. Now I'll never be able to marry someone without shame. What? I mean, it's not like I saw anything else. It was just panties and bras. She really is being awfully dramatic about this. Are you sure that's really the truth? Hmm. Uh, of course that's the truth. It's not like I want you to see me like this. Are you sure? I mean, are you eating Pocky? I just noticed that. She lets out a loud huff. You ask too many questions, Kada. 
Start paying attention to the study material. I'm, I'm trying. It's hard. She gets up and leans over my shoulder, holding her book in one hand. Here it is. I knew recording this would be handy. You mean taking notes? I can't help but notice as something presses up against it. Is it her butt? Oh, here's what you need to remember for the test. What? It's important that you don't forget it, okay? Uh, I, I don't know what I'm trying not to forget. She begins pointing her finger at the page of my textbook. But I don't hear anything she's saying at all. It's happening, again, just like in class. But it's somehow different. Well, I don't know, Kata. Maybe it's because this uh, Miko is in her underwear. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just too distracted by her to concentrate on the material. And that. It doesn't help that she keeps pressing closer and closer to me. Could you please stop leaning over my shoulder like that? Your boobies are pressing against me. Like what? She doesn't sound amused. Like that. It's distracting me. What is distracting you? No wonder you're such a bad student. All I'm doing is pointing out what you need to review and you're acting as if I'm distracting you. Well, I... I, I don't know how to tell you this, Miko, but your underwear and your butt and boobies is all distracting. So, uh, yeah. That's not what's distracting me. And what is? Your... your... My what? My what is distracting you? She slowly looks down and realizes what the problem is. Here I am, trying to help you and all you're thinking about is that. No? That, that, you're the one that got me into this situation. She shoves me out of her room and slams the door in my face. Oh, well... I, I guess great study session? Don't come back until you're ready to take this seriously. I... but... I... Uh, uh, mm, I... Mm, I don't know what to say about that. I... I mm, okay. So where do I go now? As I approach the front of the school, a sense of dread hangs over me. Wait, dread? Why dread? I'm going to have to face Miko again sometime after what happened. Well, you probably shouldn't have been, you know, that distracted. I mean, she didn't care, then you didn't have to say anything, right? Get up, right? Maybe. Sure enough, both of them are waiting at the entrance. Hiromi smiles at me, but Miko's face just turns red as she pouts. Aww. How did the study session go yesterday? Oh, it went splendidly. She just went half naked. All Miko does in response is puff up her cheeks. Not well. Oh, what went wrong? This pervert couldn't keep his mind on the reading material. All he did was drift off into space thinking about other things. You were distracting me though. That is true. I was trying to help you, but you just couldn't accept that. that That's not the issue. I want to make it clear that I did appreciate your help, Miko. She lets out a hawk. I guess I can forgive you this time. Wait, this time? But the next time this happens, you won't be so lucky. But, but, it wasn't my fault. She points an accusing finger into my face. You had to take this as seriously as the swimming club. If you don't, you'll always fail. Aww. That just put me in a down mood. Everything you do should be with the utmost dedication. Yes, that is true. Yeah, dedicate all of it. But what if I don't care about it? You should care. If you don't start doing better in school now, it'll affect your future. She does have a point. 
If you had trouble with her, maybe you can study with me? Ooh. Huh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, seeing, seeing uh, that Miko's uh, panties and such. And we will find out which one I'm going to choose. So everyone, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!